Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Charles Darwin. Hello, everybody. He was a very, very naughty boy. I love apples. I've just picked lots and lots. Charlie, what have you got there? Apples, father. Where did you get them? Um, I, I think, I think they were stolen by the apple thief. The apple thief? Yeah. Are you lying to me? No, father. Are you? Yes, father. Oh, Charlie, 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 you silly little boy. This naughtiness, I should send you to boarding school. <gasps> and off to school he went. But he didn't have that much luck there either. <laughs> you boy. Yes, you. Are you daydreaming again? No, sir. I'm just playing with the beetle. Playing with the beetle? Well, I'm wasting time. Ah, Mr. Darwin, come to visit the boy, have we? Yes. How is he getting on? I do not have put this, sir. But the boy is entirely dull. Dull? <laughs> dull? Charlie, do you know what the teacher has to say about you? You're never going to amount to anything in life. When I grow up, I shall train to be a doctor! And so he trained! But only. Edinburgh is nice and all, but I don't think medicine is for me. It's just a little too boring. And Maybe something more peaceful? And so he trained to be a clergyman. A priest! Yes, that's what I shall be. A little more peaceful, isn't it? Interesting. 
Although I shot it, this animal <clears throat> seems to have already been knocked unconscious by a flying rock. <laughs> I guess I'd better get my pretty little book out and then begin working on my theory of evolution. Call it a um, 
of her discovery. That I discovered it first. Charlie. Good. Now shake hands and say sorry. Sorry, Wallace. Now that's all sorted. There can't be any more problems. Well, if there are, at least my friend Tom Hudson will defend me and my discoveries. Hi. Well, if there is a problem, you know you can't attend the meetings because of your... My what? You know, don't make me say it. Say what? Your farty problem. Your big windy pants and you're so smelly when you're distressed that the debate cannot continue. Oh, that. Well, well, well. If it isn't Charlie Tomb Face Body Pants out there. <laughs> Who are you? I am Samuel Wilberforce, Bishop of Oxford. I've got a bird to be with you. Oh no, I've got a big chest building! Run, Charlie, run! But where? Everybody hold your noses, she's gonna blow! <laughs> So that evolution that I. It is a perfectly sensible theory. Oh, is it? Then tell me, Huxley, are you descended from monkeys on your grandmother or grandfather's side? Benny? Well, I rather know you descended from an ape than an uncultivated man who uses the use of culture and elephants in the use of prejudice and falsehood. <coughs> That's it, I'm done. Believing this nonsense. And Samuel will before us can answer that. And although we have evidence in fossil records that prove Darwin's theory, till this day there are some who refute them and prefer to hark back to their fates or fairy tales for our origins. How, How silly. silly.